Tonight, the president of Bryant University is apologizing after a student came forward saying a racist incident happened on campus a few weeks ago. The student says he was just walking when a fellow student called him a racist slur. The victim shared what happened on social media and claims university staff asked him to take it down. The university released a statement today admitting they could have handled the situation better. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshido is at Bryant with what administrators are now in the process of doing. Bryant University's president says he first heard about the incident after a post was circulating on social media. And now he says moving forward, he wants to create a better environment on campus for students, staff, and faculty. We first introduced you to Quentin Law on Thursday. He's a senior at Bryant University. He says a fellow student called him a racial slur on campus. He posted about it on Facebook. A lot of people are uncomfortable of talking about race. That post spread fast, receiving lots of attention. Law says administrators told him to take it down, but he wouldn't. We need to sit down as a community, as Bryant, administrators, faculty, and students, and talk about like what's really going on, I'm not trying to hide it anymore. Bryant University's top officials answered to that request Friday, apologizing to Law. President Makeley says the university is actively investigating the incident and how it was handled. We should all, from present to the freshman, be willing to learn, learn from new issues, learn from new environments, even learn from mistakes. Makeley says the biggest lessons may not be taught in the classrooms. Learn to fail forward fast and make it a better situation. The university is currently organizing a community conversation to talk about issues like race. It's expected to take place sometime in the next few weeks. I'm making sure that we have better race relations, better diversity. Uh, this is important to us. And in light of this incident, Makeley says the university will be looking at its social media policies to make sure everything is up to date. Reporting in Smithfield, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.